Now at 11, it is gator mating season, which means videos like these of people wrangling the creatures are going to be popping up more and more often. And now is a good time to make sure you know how to protect not only yourself, but your pets too. Very important. New at 11, Treasure Roberts spoke to a woman offering specialized training for dogs that could be life-saving for their owners. When you live in Florida, Ow! Seeing gators roaming around isn't that unusual. As a matter of fact, you might start seeing more of them in residential areas as the weather heats up. Alligator courtship began this month, and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission says they'll start mating in May. Be extra careful, though. Experts say alligators will become more aggressive. Cities like Oviedo are even putting their residents on alert. And what kind of dog is this? She's a German Shepherd. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Cheyenne Emery is the owner of Dog Training Elite Orlando. Please. And that's her pup. She says training your dog to avoid danger could save their life and keep you out of harm's way. So we have a lot, a lot of wildlife here. Um, it could be, you know, squirrels, snakes, alligators, um, anything like that. If you do like trail walking, um, you can come across these animals. Um, and that's something that we would teach them to kind of avoid. One tip to keep your dog out of danger is to walk them on a leash and never walk them near the edge of the water. If you let your dog walk leash free, Emery demonstrates how training can keep them on track. So let's yeah. see what that looks like. Okay, break. She performs command based training. Here. Yes. Sit. Good. Push. Good job. Using common terms like down, sit, and heel. Now, we don't have access to alligators or snakes, but Emery showed us how proper training can get so dogs to avoid those animals using ducks at Lake Eola as an example. Off. Yes. Oh, good job. What would be like a natural instinct for a mm -hmm. dog when they see an alligator or a snake? Yeah, so dogs are very curious creatures. So when they see something they've never seen before, they want to go investigate it. If, you know, an owner wants to get involved and try and save the dog, they could get hurt themselves as yeah. well. So this is more important time to get your dog trained to avoid these situations. Oh my gosh, what yeah. a smart dog. What a great smart. idea. I know, yeah. beautiful too. All right, so she uses command-based training. Are there any other kinds of trainings that could keep your animal safe in the wild? Yeah, so strictly avoidance training. She doesn't do that, and you actually need a snake or an alligator to train your dog in that mm. way, and an e-collar. I did see uh, someone in South Florida, they basically put an e-collar around their dog's neck, and it did a little buzz. buzz. Yeah, they, it buzzes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a box of snakes. So when the dog went up to the box of snakes, they buzzed the e-collar, and the dog ran away. It was like a negative reinforcement, but also mm -hmm. it'll help the dog in the future if they see a snake, they'll run away. It'll be their natural instinct. And you'll after. know something is yeah. there too that mm -hmm. could also hurt you. Exactly. It was real snakes in the box. Real snakes. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> envious of, of people who can train their dogs to do things like that. Yeah, yeah. mine will never do it. I, mine, I couldn't neither. Do it. I yeah. can't. But that's a great story. And love that. I hope people take advantage of that. I yeah. hope so too. All right, especially treasure. during the season. Thank yep. you.